Welcome to Introduction to iOS Application Development at SSFS. In this class, we are going to be developing some very simple iOS applications over the course of the next semester. If you're following along, you're going to need two things. The first is Xcode, which is a free software package uh, available from the Mac App Store. Uh, it's going to take a while to download, so go ahead and download it if you have not already. The second thing you'll find helpful but not mandatory is if you go into the Apple Bookstore, there is an app development with SwiftBook that Apple has put out, and it is a fantastic resource if you're just learning uh, about Swift, the language of producing iOS applications, and how to use Xcode itself. In this first video, we're going to take a look at Xcode and Playgrounds. You can see down here on the dock, I have the Xcode icon. I've already opened it up because it takes a few minutes to, to load for the first time. And once you load it up, you're going to see this default menu. And you have three options right now. Get started with a playground, create a new Xcode project, and clone an existing project. This semester, we're going to work with these two mainly. But if you used Git or GitHub, you might want to use this one as well. So today we're just going to look at playgrounds and what they are. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's going to open up a playground for me. In short, what playgrounds are is they're great areas to test out code and get instant feedback on the results of it. So I'm going to just go ahead and create a blank playground and hit next. I'll call it my playground and I'll save it to my desktop for right now. And again, you can call it whatever you want. Let me move this over to the center of the screen. So you can see that Xcode opens up a very simple playground. Right now it's launching the simulator, and that's getting all the tools ready in the background so that it can very quickly uh, load and give you the results of what you've typed in. So it looks like it's ready. And notice there are a couple of statements already in there. First is this import UI kit. And the UI kit contains all the instructions for the user interface. So we're going to leave that in there for right now. We'll talk more about that as the semester goes on. Then you see I have a line here. And again, we're going to talk in the next video about what these mean. But if I hit the play button here, let's go ahead and it's going to run it. And I see the results over here on the right hand side. Right now, this is showing you the value of this variable str. If I want to see a kind of a richer look, I can use this quick look button to show me what it looks like. Or I can use this inline button to show the result, which shows the, the result underneath the statement itself. So as we said, uh, playgrounds can be used to test very simple commands. And as you may know, the first program that anyone writes in a new language is the Hello World program. And we're going to go ahead and write that in this Swift play playground. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a space here. And I'm going to type print, and then hello world. And that's it. That's the first line of code we've typed in Swift. Let me go ahead and hit play. And we see that I have hello world. And down here, this is the debug console. Uh, it's always a good place to look for results. If you don't see that, make sure that this button here is clicked. This kind of toggles being able to see the, con the console window. Um, but again, We've used a Swift command print to print out hello world. Before we said that we're going to take a look later on at variables and lines like this, and we'll do that in the next video.